guys, it's episode number 50, baby. We hit episode number 50. It's over. We are done. We are done. With- no, I'm just messing. I'm just messing. We still got a long ways to go. We still got a long ways to go. I usually take my pranks too far, so I, I made I made I made sure to tell you guys right away. But no, no, no. we're we're gonna we're gonna go way past. Um. Anyways, the new Holland's going right there. I don't know why it just like skipped this corn here. It just turned around and it went through this corn. So I didn't get it all. Maybe it's just like the end pieces. It, it's just doing a really weird now since that corn's there. Something like that. But boys, can we get a like button for episode number fifty? Can we hit one k likes? It's it's episode number 50, 50 days straight, right? Or maybe we've skipped a day, maybe we've skipped a day uh, posting, I guess. Uh, maybe, just maybe. But what we're doing in this video is we are getting a new semi. Yeah, that's right. We're getting a new semi. I think I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably get, uh, or I know what I'm going to get, I, actually. So here, first of all, we're going to go take a walk and we're going to go, no, we're, okay, we're going to teleport. We're going to go, uh, okay, teleport to this just because it's real close. But we're going to take a walk and look at our old semi, the old Mac. Now, this was a good semi and stuff, and, and maybe maybe I should just keep it around and run two semis. It's not a bad idea. I will do that. I will keep this around, and I'm going to let you guys decide. Do I sell the Mac in this Manning trailer, or do I have two semis? I could, I could do that. So do I keep the Mac, or... Do I sell it? That's the question here. Let's see how much money we could get. This is this is a decision I gotta make quick. Um, let's see how much money we could get for the Mac. I'm curious. I'm cu I'm really curious now. Yeah, uh, where's this Mac at? Oh wait, it's like Peterbilt. Watch. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. So we get twenty one thousand dollars. I like this truck. Um, and then what about the Manning? I don't know how much we get for that either. Uh, where's this Manning at? Super. Okay. Super Hopter. It's a Timpty. $10,000 so we get $30,000 total from the whole setup which isn't even like that much and why does this say CR 1090 over here and why oh okay we weren't clicked on the right thing okay I gotcha but what we're buying is a Western star I decided to go with a Western star as long as this holy crap $180,000 doggy really Man, that's a lot of money. Let's see how much this trailer is. Holy crap, dude. I don't know if I have that much money. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that price. That's 45,000. We could hold 90,000 bushels in this thing. That's why if we got this Okay, I feel like we should sell the we should sell the Mac. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably already commented and said keep the Mac. But now when I think about this, this holds 90,000, double this. There's really no point of even having the Mac around when we have this big a semi, you know? So, I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it. Sorry, sorry if you guys commented. Um, but it's probably just smart to ah, maybe Yeah, let's sell it. We're not that big an operation yet, but maybe hey, maybe I'll buy the maybe I'll buy it back later. We could do that where I buy it back later. So we're selling, oh shoot, gosh darn it. Now now the green card's not gonna have anything to unload in unless I get a gravity wagon up here. Um, but no, we're gonna buy it. Oh man, this dude, this is, shoot, I don't even have enough money though. A hundred, man, why did they have to make this gosh darn thing so expensive? $180,000 semi, mm, that's killing me. That's killing me, that's really killing me. Um, I don't wanna pay the price of 180,000. I don't think it should be worth 180,000 when the Mac was only, 21,000 I'll be right back Okay, so we got to make a comparison. I added in a couple more truck mods. I just had and So now we have the Peterbilt 377 Peterbilt 388 day cab or custom Peterbilt 388 this wouldn't be bad man. I don't know what ones we should get though um, this one was a really good truck for us. Actually, it was a great truck for us. Holy crap. That's 9,900 horsepower. Oh my gosh. I don't think that's not my style. Really? That, that's more, that's more crazy hauling Harley type of style. So I don't know if this is my style though, too, for the farm. I don't know if this is good for the farm. I feel like this is the Peterbilt 377 would be a truck for the farm, but I don't know if it's big enough to pull man i don't know here this is this is tough you know so one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars would be doable it'd be right up my price range also seventy-five thousand dollars with a custom peterbilt would be perfect for the farm man i don't know if this would be good or what 
Okay, well, this is an older style, so I'm gonna go with this style, and then I'm gonna, as long as it is decent, right? And then I'm gonna upgrade to this eventually. This will be like the next semi. Does that sound good? Okay, well, here we go, boys. Hopefully, it's a good mod. Hopefully, it's a good mod. We purchased it, and then we're also gonna purchase the hopper. Um, We'll go way over here. Tippers, holy crap, dude. I don't know, this is, this is kill me. This is kill me. Ooh. West Coast, white, black. Oh, dude. Should I get black? I feel like most aren't black, but that would be pretty sick. All black setup. Oh, dude. Okay. Well, oh, man. Did that cost me? Okay, that cost me like 15000 more just to get it black. Wow. Wow. Wow, dude. Okay, whatever. That'll that'll work. That, that'll be fine, I guess. Um, oh, oh, oh. Man. Okay. Is this Peterbilt a little too crazy? Okay, well... She's trucking. I guess this is what we got. Man, I think... I don't know. We'll see how this Peterbilt does. Okay. Oh, dude. Holy crap, boys. We are trucking grain. Oh, my gosh, dude. This is sick. Dude, she gets going, too. Okay. This, is, this will be good enough, I guess. It's got a lot of power. It's got a lot of power. It's almost too crazy, though. That's the thing. Man, I wish I could get the horsepower down on it. She gets going. I don't know if, if that's too fast or not. Whatever. We're going to keep it. Tell me if you like it or not. If not, we'll switch her out for the other. The Peterbilt 377. Oh, dude. This is sweet. She gets going quick. But once we get... Dude, once we get weight on her... Oh, I don't know how this baby's going to do. This is more like street. I don't know how well it would be for her on the farm. It's... I don't know. We'll see though. It's a, it's a good sim. I feel like. Well, I guess we'll we'll find out though. Oh boy, make the turn, dude. I love. It. Okay, we're gonna be able to haul so much grain. It's gonna be sweet. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. I just crashed it. Okay, dude. I think this thing's a little too crazy for me. Man, dude. I'd like to get it, but dude, it'd be sweet trucking grain. It, it's just whatever. We'll just have to steer good. Here we go, boys. Here we go. <gasps> Holy crap. This baby's a beast. Dude, this thing is quick, though. Almost like a little too quick. Holy crap. We are trucking, boys. We are trucking. This thing is insane. Okay, well, we're going to keep her until somebody's like, no, squad, that's way too unrealistic and stuff. You don't get that. And, or if a lot of you guys say that, we're, we'll, we'll get right over then. But uh, I, can, I can just sell it and buy a new one. I like this thing. It just gets, it's a little too fast for me. Like, I need to lower the horsepower. 9,900 horsepower is a little too much. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking... Screw it. Okay, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're switching her out. We're switching her out. Man, dude, everybody's like, Squad, I hate you, man. I hate you. I hate you so much, Squad. I hate you. We're switching her out, baby. <laughs> dude, I don't know, guys. This is just too... It's too quick. It's not going to work good. Like, I won't even be able to steer the team. I can't handle the power. Like, look, the turning is it's not even that good, even though we are like a bullet going 75 mile an hour and stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking we're getting the other, the other stuff. Okay, yeah, the 377 is more of a truck for us. It looks good, guys. You got to admit, it looks good hooked up to this. It looks more like you'd be hauling grain with this truck compared to like that was that was a little too crazy for me, a little custom. And it's not it's not the it's not the Peterbilt, the Peterbilt I had before. It's not because it was crazy custom. I didn't like it for the farm. It was more of like it just drove horrible and like I couldn't even sometimes I get going too fast and I try to turn and those front wheels won't even grip and it just goes sliding and stuff. So this is more of a truck. Although, dude Okay, so I have it on the lowest like engine setting. Four and eighty five horse. I could have upgraded a lot, it would have just cost more money. So I do if we may need to upgrade this engine a little bit just a tad bit but and the interior the interior on this thing's amazing i know i had it on here on uh, squad farms earlier on um, actually when we were doing farming like in the fall like actual fall in real life uh, i had this truck on here and it was a good truck so so we're going with the peterbilt 377 it, it's i feel like it's a good choice see right now we're barely gaining speed but this is like realistic the realistic speed I, I like this um also shoot okay well i know we're driving in the middle of it right now but I want to keep harvest going as fast as possible and I probably should have drove back but we're gonna keep the combine going um, fully 
there we go and then by the time we get back it should be about ready let's get this peterbilt 377 hitting the road throw cruise control on why not get her speed okay 51 mile an hour see that's a good that's a good top speed what was the other one like 120 mile an hour never did dude that'd be actually pretty cool to see a semi doing 120 mile an hour holy crap dude oh have you guys ever seen those semis that drag race and stuff where they just roll coal for miles oh my gosh dude that stuff's pretty cool watching i've watched a couple of youtube videos on it it's, it's, it's pretty interesting watching okay now we're trucking slowly so a little more slowly but we're, we're trucking up there i like how is that third third uh, axle all the way to the ground wonder if that thing is it almost looks like it's it's up in the air a little bit but it is spinning so it must be all it must be all the way to the ground okay helper eye has an 80 percent full grain take it's probably going to be 100 percent full by the time we get there and you know what one thing in the style of play that i have i do not like just tabbing around getting the combine going and then tabbing back to the semi i'm going to try to like what i should have done is just drove the semi up here even though the combine was full and then got out and walked it walked into the combine from the field is what i should have done instead of just tabbing there quick getting it going you know i i probably should do that a little more there we go dude the, this is a good mod this is a good mod i don't know where i got this mod or how i got this maybe sam's it to me but all the mirrors work perfect on this too like like it's a good mod it's a perfect mod one thing i need to get dude i need to get a steering wheel man so we can so you don't have none of this it's more just a constant steer you know that'd be perfect um semi it's not gonna be used at all right now or actually i was okay i was using the semi for a use that isn't too important really and that was just dropping it in uh the auger but now this semi is huge and i'm like man should i be doing that okay hopefully this comment's coming up slow okay there she is it's probably gonna get full yeah it's gonna get full but before it's the end 7010 firing it up now okay a lot of people are telling me this is way too small for the green cart watch it is kind of small it's the big wheels on the grain cart though that's what gets it the big wheels on the grain cart are huge and it makes the 7810 just look tiny man so i was considering upgrading tractors what i'd upgrade to is either an 8400 or 7r but i don't want to get rid of the 7810 so i kind of don't want to upgrade just yet but you know what this is kind of struggling going up the hill even like we're losing the speed going up the hill there so i don't know and this is only 60 percent full There we go. We're filling the J&M all the way. I should turn on the lights when I go down the road. Okay. Um, we're going to let that fill, and we're going to run back to the semi, and then put the semi... I hate doing this. I should. I should. I really should use a gravity wagon instead of a semi to unload, but we're going to use the semi... I, I don't know what the correct term is, but we're going to use the semi for, like, the, the middleman. The middleman the middle cart, I guess. That's what you could call it. I'm going to take the cover off quick. And we're just gonna park the semi just right over this auger here and we're gonna put in storage we do only have five thousand dollars right now Wow yeah cuz I just bought this semi and stuff but we're, hey we're gonna be able to haul a lot of grain now so we're gonna put the semi it's a drive over we got a drive over pit right here not really pit but drive over right here that we're gonna park under oh triaxle up oh so you can lift the triaxle sweet oh dude that's sweet okay so I should have it up because we don't have any grain um there we go right there it should have an unload signal perfect and then we'll run the grain cart just right up here and unload it into her that'll work good um okay i should shut the semi off though what do you guys think of the new semi though i like it now a lot of you guys were probably like questioning when i bought the peterbilt you're like yeah brother yeah and then i sold it you're like no no so there's probably gonna be crazy comments all over the place because you guys didn't like watch the full video some of you guys probably ended the video and thought i have uh the peterbilt 388 you know so who knows i guess but, uh, okay, this is the time I should be tabbing. We're going to tab. We're tabbing. The tabbing crew. Okay, this is at 26% full. I wonder... Oh, dude, this thing must be full. Now, 7810, man, she's going to have a little dip time pushing this thing across the road. Luckily, our field... Oh, yeah, she's a full all the way. Luckily, our fields are kind of flat. Okay, sweet. We're taking the 7810 in. She gets going, but we're going downhill right now. That's the thing. Where is my... Oh, I can't go. There's no way the 7010 is getting through the ditch over there. Oh, dude. Holy crap. I'm surprised the 7010 is not popping wheelies. Um, okay, we're not going to end it, put the grain in there. You know what? It pulls it pretty good. I'm actually impressed with it. It pulls it pretty, pretty darn well. We are kind of going downhill most of the time, though. 
There we go. 7010s, it, it's a good tractor. It's a little small, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little small, but we're getting it somewhat up to speed. Now flying across the fields, it's gonna be a whole different story. I don't know. Okay, we'll throw the, oh shoot. Okay, well, what I gotta do here, I'm gonna fold it in so I don't hit anything. It looks like what we're gonna have to do is, I don't think we can make the, ah, oh, maybe we can. We'll see. Make the turn, baby. Okay, we can make the turn. Perfect. Now we're going to fill up the semi. And the semi is probably going to unload faster than the... Holy crap, this grain cart unloads pretty fast. But the semi is going to unload faster than the grain cart. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this semi up full. And then we're going to dump it all in the bin at once is what we'll do. Because it's kind of tough all messing around. So that's what we'll do. There we go, baby. 7010, she's sitting back a little, not going to lie. Not gonna lie. Here, I guess we don't even need to. It's not the green card or the semi's not even full yet. We'll just keep. We'll just keep it right here. There we go, baby. There we go. Seventy ten. Yeah, it might be a little small. Just a, just a, just a bit small. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's probably a little small. We'll look up in here. See what we got going on. I, dude, I like the physics of how it just starts pouring down over here. The corn. What does the corn actually look like? Oh, dude, it's so like pixely in here kind of cool though look at this this is pretty this is pretty realistic dude i like this this jnm gravity or green cart's pretty good cart too okay you know what we should get the disc going dude why not just get the disc going right behind why not well, let's have an efficient operation going so i'm gonna get the disc fired up baby we're getting the 9400 fired up and she's gonna go right behind and we're just gonna get this thing knocked out boom 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 you know uh, get all these fields done so 9400 she's getting started does need fuel but we have enough fuel for this field so we should be good okay it's just gonna follow the 7810 we'll jump in the 7810 just get rolling i want to get this field done by the end of this video but it's already been a while through this video okay how many what fields are ready by the way we should check this too what fields are ready also we need to buy sheep we don't have money for sheep though so five, nine's ready, seven's ready. Um, oh wait, no. You can tell growth here. 14 is ready, a bean field. Maybe we'll move on to beans after this. Maybe we'll go knock out seven and eight and 10 and then move on to beans. We'll just switch it up. Cause I want to switch it up. I don't want to just get all the corn done through like five videos. Then the next five videos are beans. You know, I want to switch it up a little bit. Okay, we're rolling. Sweet. Pull in here with the 7810 quick. 9400's falling. Perfect, 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 baby. Um, you know what? We're just gonna roll all the way across to this field. You can definitely tell the 7010 drives a heck of a lot faster. Um, gosh darn it, I'm not gonna be able to catch that. Shoot. I caught it at the wrong time. Okay, well, ah, man, that kind of sucks. Okay, 9400, let's get this baby started. Yeah, the, the combine's gonna fill up quick. I need, dude, okay, so for the live stream, I'm thinking about, I'll let you guys know for Saturday morning farming, but I'm thinking about getting more workers, you know, like having some of you guys play. I think that'd be kind of cool if we had a big crew going. That'd be pretty sweet, I feel like. I wanna get super chats too, because a lot of you guys that keep asking, like, Squawk, come on, can I have super chat and stuff? And I'm just waiting on YouTube to get permission for me to, uh, put like ads on the videos and stuff and 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 i can't super chat until i get permission from youtube and they're like taking forever but uh there we go of course you can super chat brother um i kind of dude i kind of like just disking up here oh wait it, okay oh dude the comment's actually making it to the end oh is it gonna make it is she going is she oh wait 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 She's going. She, oh, no, she didn't make it. Shoot. Okay, well, combat's more important than this, so we're going to stop the disc for right now. Jump over in the 7010 and unload. That means we're going to have to pack the combine out of the field quick. Oh, that's, full. that's cool. That's cool. And so one thing is I want to do this really, really old school farming, right? And we've been going so good on this. Like, we got it. Like, we've been going so good on this series. I, I want to post this series every day. So, I'm considering posting some old school farming on the main squad channel. Just because I want to, I still want to post videos on this because we have, dude, we have so many videos to get done. This harvest is going to take like 10 or 12 videos, probably, you know? Okay. 70, 10. She's pulling up over here. Jump out quick. Um, okay, we gotta, you know what, I'm gonna combine the rest, cause it's, it, you know what, it's not that much, to be honest. I wanna get this, okay, we should, I should probably just start hiring out a worker on that disc over there. 
There we go. Sweet. So, okay, I'm trying to think how many extra helpers I need. So, one person just always running the combine. One person grain cart operator. One person disc. We could start, like, bailing, too. So, three people. Three people is all I need, I think. Should be good. Three people would be good. I'm thinking. Okay, I'm going to hire out a worker, actually, on this 9400. And I'm going to let the worker get it done. Hopefully, the worker does good. Do good, worker. Do good. Don't screw it up. There we go. 9400 is rolling. I like that tractor, man. That's a good tractor. I like that tractor. So, this should be unloaded. And I'm going to jump in the combine. And combine most of the rest of this. We'll fold the pipe in. See, I wish the... I know, I know they want to, like tell us there's a window here so they got to have some like light difference and stuff but i wish these windows were a lot more clear like right now they're they got a little dirt on them of course but i wish they were more clear you know so i could see a little better and i'd, I'd be i'd do first person a lot more okay before the disc hits this corn over here we're gonna jump up and we're gonna pick this corn that the combine must have missed right here there we go and there's some down on the other end too that i gotta get you know what that disc is gonna be going quick i bet <laughs> we're probably it'll, it'll probably start with just going right behind us dude okay we gotta get going there we go we'll jump into the field quick sometimes the corn animations you know run through here work sometimes they don't i don't know it's just it's, it's weird you know what i should get the mod that that has better ground animations i wonder if that's a that's a mod you could get for ground animations because i hate the the way this corn is like too bad there wasn't actually like trash coming out of the combine and actually covered up the field you see there's trash coming out but it doesn't fully cover up the field okay it looks like we're not going to be able to get all of that done so i'm going to make the turn right here and we're going to start going along here and getting all this done through here because this section there's no way i could hire out a worker through this section so we're just knocking out this section. Throw the throw the music on. Throw a little music, electric radio. Why not? Why not electric radio? We always play country. I know country's important, but man, we gotta switch it up a little bit, you know? Perfect. The CR 890, man. I saved so much money getting the 890 instead of uh, 1090. Oh boy, we saved a lot of money. Even and they're basically the same thing. They'll do the same thing. Besides, one supposedly has uh, less horse or more horsepower. Okay, electric radio. It's starting to piss me off a little bit. We're going to country. There we go, baby. Perfect. Okay, now I know I'm not harvesting this correctly, and it's not going with a rose at all or anything like that. But, but. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully we're doing somewhat good. Oh boy. Oh man, we missed one corn stock. Okay, we're shutting off the radio. <laughs> I always turn it on just for a little bit and then I start shutting her off. Okay, let's knock out this section through here. How's that 9400 doing? I wonder how that's doing over there. We'll turn the head. It's always weird when you have like little things like this. You never know like what way to go actually. Like how am I supposed to do this? Like, you know? So I guess we're just gonna go around outside of it kind of and then swing back around and get one of the other edges There we go. We're getting her done sweet. Okay. Now we'll lift her up and Then just get this little section done. You guys thinking you guys cool with that? See now what do I do here? Do I make the turn or do I just back up? I think what we'll do is we'll just back up and get this little section right here there we go look it we got the whole crew out here boys we got the new home one thing is i haven't been using the magnum and i need to upgrade that tractor or something because you know right now we just have it on the auger i guess we're kind of using it but we need to get we probably need to get more case in here okay i'm gonna let the worker do its thing and run down here all the way as long as it does a good job do a good job worker okay 9400 this worker seems to be doing good we're just running across this field okay it's gonna take out my corn over there i'm okay with that it's fine though sweet dude oh i missed it oh that must have been me yeah it must have been me that missed a little bit there but we're, we're working good over here perfect there we go new holland's good over there hopefully it's not missing anything it's not sweet so i'm gonna grab the 7810 and we're gonna we're gonna run over to the combine and soon it's gonna be full i just don't know when 7010 is actually kind of dirty because we what did we use it on oh we used it on the uh, uh yeah the potato harvester that's what we used it on and so that's why it's all dirty maybe we should kind of clean it up a little bit because 
I don't know. Even though we are in the middle of harvest, I feel like I should kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay, combines are rolling. We're done. We're almost, we're super close to being done with this field. Perfect. There we go. Anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Look at this video. Look at this video. You got the 9400 rolling over the hill over there. New Holland going. 7810 just sitting right in front of you. Perfect. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy it, let me know by hitting that like button. Thanks for watching, brothers.